What's up? What's up, YouTube? So, uh, I want to go over some things, a few things. Well, I actually previously went over some things uh, in a video regarding USB powered hubs. So, I want to talk about something else regarding USB powered hubs and what you can use with your iPhone and your iPad. And if you have some of these things or devices or um, audio interfaces or mixer interfaces within your home, uh, there's another thing that you can do as long as it's plug and play. So let's dive in and let me show you another additional part to the uh, USB power hubs. However, I do have some videos regarding USB power hubs. Uh, you can go and look at them, uh, hit that button right there and you'll check it out and you know, if you never dealt with a USB power hub, or I just go, I, I just go in the go over the basics of uh, how to install it, how to function it well, and how to get your devices to work and talk to each other using a USB power hub. So let's go ahead and dive on into this, and uh, let me show you something that you may have that you can use in your home studio or wherever that may be beneficial to you. All right, let's check it out. Okay, so this is the setup that I have going on. Um, the USB power hub. So let's do a little quick little demonstration. Okay, so obviously that's the iPad. This is the uh, MIDI interface. There's an audio interface here. SSL 2 Plus, but I already have a video um, regarding the SSL 2 Plus. Let me turn these monitors off because I'm going to get some crazy feedback when I'm recording. Okay, so that's just for right now. All right, and what we want to emphasize on is the mixer here. So basically what I want to do with this mixer is um, record into the iPad via the USB power hub and this is what the USB power hub looks like if you've never seen it or check out my other videos I use the same USB power hub in the videos as you can see the power buttons here so it's giving power to the iPad and to the mixer okay go back over here to the mixer I do have a microphone that is hooked up to the mixer or that is plugged into the XLR so we're going to press the um, phantom power so we can get this thing phantom power. And let's give it some voltage, some gain or some level. If you want to call it that, what do we call it that? Uh, let's take that out. Mix. All right, so we have phantom power. All right, so let's see if the meters are moving. We should see the meters moving. Testing one, two, we have phantom power, phantom power, we get some more level. Check, check, testing one, two. All right, so we got some recording level going on. All right, so let's go ahead and engage the Cubase app. So I'm recording this audio into a app on the iPad, which is called Cubases 3. So... In order for Cubasis 3 to see the mixer, um, you have to go into the settings and the audio settings and look for the mixer there and you will see a USB Kodak or whatever that mixer is, that wherever that driver or plug and play thing is representing um, the mixer uh, that's coming from the Allen and Heath. Uh, if it was the SSL 2 Plus, which is this right here, you would see in the Cubasis 3 app SSL 2 Plus. So that's how you know you have the correct one. All right. So let's go ahead. But I already have that engaged, so we don't need to do that. So let's go ahead and press the, the monitor button. And you can see activity within the iPad. I don't know if you can see this that well. But this is activity from the microphone that's coming from the mixer. Okay. okay, so I'm going to record into the iPad. I am recording into the iPad to prove that we can get sound from an external device to go into the iPad using the USB powered hub. Let me make sure I'm staying on axis so we can get some sound here. Okay. 
Okay, testing one, two, and three. Okay, so I have audio recorded. So let me turn off the phantom power. That is off. Some mixers uh, takes a while for it to drain out. It's because of the capacitance. Uh, you know, with capacitors, they uh, store it, store energy, so it slow slowly drains out. So let's wait for that to drain out a little bit. And um, cause if, I, if I don't, it will have a loud feedback noise that's coming from the monitors and the uh, microphone itself. Now, let's see if we have actually recorded. You should be able to hear what I recorded inside the iPad now. All right, let's go ahead and press playback. External device to go into the iPad using the USB power hub. Let me make sure I'm staying on active so we can get some sound here. Okay, testing one. I am recording into the iPad to prove that we can get sound from an external device to go into the iPad using the USB powered hub. Let me make sure I'm staying on active so we can get some sound here. Okay, testing one, two, and three. All right, we did get audio to go into the iPad using the USB power hub. So you can do these things. Like I say um, earlier, if you want to go and view some of my earlier videos uh, regarding USB power hub hubs, I have a couple of videos on my um uh, YouTube channel. So go ahead and check that out. And don't forget to like, subscribe, subscribe, and hit that alert button and share if you like this information. And you know, give me some comments if you have any questions uh, that I can answer or or help you out with. So I this is just to show you another way of getting other the devices, other the, other devices uh, using USB. Uh, to interface in with your iPad, iPhone, or whatever that's acting as your like sort of mobile doll. All right, so I hope this has been um, intuitive for you and and something that's beneficial. If you have any questions, again, just shoot me a comment and we can talk about it. I am out. Take care.